Today, I'm going to talk to you about setting goals in Albion Online, how to be motivated to achieve your goals, what kind of goal examples you might want to set for yourself if you're a new player, maybe an experienced player, and then I'm going to share the goals that I have set for myself for this month of premium. You can see I have 15 days left of my premium and the goals that I am doing for this specific month and how I am going to to uh, basically achieve them. So let's get started, all right? So for a brand new player, your goal might look something like this, okay? You have your three days of premium because you just did the tutorial, so let me show you what I would do in that situation, okay? And uh, it looks like the text is a little big. All right, so as a new player, you want to farm as much silver as possible with your free three days of premium, okay? Then you also want to farm up Spiked gauntlets because that is the fastest weapon to use for open world mob farming, but you only need 5.3 to one shot tier 5 mobs, okay? Why are we doing tier 5 mobs and not tier 6 or 7 or 8 mobs? Because as a new player, you don't have any friends, you don't have a big massive guild to protect you. If you go into the red or black zones, you could possibly die and lose all of your stuff and be at a huge monetary like downcline from. When you die in a red or black zone, you lose all your stuff that you're carrying. That would reset your progress for those three days. There's no reason to ever go out to those zones unless you have a massive surplus of silver or if you're really just looking for the thrill of it. Honestly, the amount of that you farm in a yellow zone is pretty darn good, and later on when you have satchels, it's actually way more, okay? Uh, so... Uh, at this same time in your first three days, creating your own guild for housing so that you can build laborers and start farming those and get more silver that way passively. And then spend your 30,000 focus that you get in your first three days on crafting tier 4 furniture to sell. Alright, so how do you achieve these goals? Open mobs uh, in the open world, tier 5 mobs, daily rewards, and faction flagging. All will add up to a massive amount of silver. Using a 4.3 set. Then when you have enough uh, fame, 5.3 set. I generally don't go above 5.3 on my first three days, but you can if you want to. You can use your first 100,000 silver to buy your own guild, and then 200,000 silver from there to build the guild hall, and then furnish it and put those laborers in there to start growing them every week. And then, of course, focus crafting furniture with the journals in the highest profit city that you can sell them in. And in the results for this small goal would be in your... In 24 hours of playtime, assuming you play 8 hours a day, which is pretty reasonable for a gamer, you will collect 9.6 million silver from open world mobs. That is the loot they drop, that is the silver they drop, that is the faction point rewards that you will be getting, which you won't be able to faction flag right away, but you will on your first day, okay? You'll have 100 spec on your spike gauntlets with the 5.3 weapon, allowing you to one-shot everything in tier 5, and you'll have a tier 4 guild hall constructed, which you will also earn 400,000 silver from your focus. So in three days, you will have earned a 10 million silver, and guess what, guys? In that three days, that will allow you to buy your first premium right now at 9.63 million silver, giving you a little under 400,000 left over, 370,000 silver technically. So that is a goal that a newbie might have. All right, and then here is what the first month would look like for someone with goals, okay? So you would buy a personal island and upgrade it to three farm plots. That's the most mathematically uh, reasonable thing to do for your first character, for your first premium. Start farming tier three crops, which you'll have to farm tier two crops for just a smidgen, but wheat is the most profitable thing. Even if you don't water wheat, you're going to make more money growing wheat than any other crop at the moment. Of course, the markets always change, but wheat is currently the winner. It was the winner also last year. I don't know what it is with wheat. Or You can also do Tier 3 herbs, but I recommend wheat because it sells much faster and much more um, volume. Okay. Uh, then you're going to fame up an alternative set for whatever you want to do. Like if you want a PvP, you would fame up a PvP set, fame up a dungeon clearing set, fame up a corrupted dungeon set, which I don't recommend corrupted dungeons because you can't faction farm points in corrupted dungeons and it's rock, paper, scissors. It's very frustrating. It's, uh, it's much slower for fame until you hit slayer difficulty. Uh, you could fame up a, a set for group dungeons if you want. If you, if you started making friends, if you got into a guild, you could start uh, doing group dungeon-like builds if you want. Maybe a healer, maybe an AoE DPS, maybe a tank. 
all right? When I first started, I'm, I farmed up a tank set, which I never, ever use. It was a complete waste of my time. But, hey, I, I do have a tank set farmed up. So how do we achieve this, okay? We keep farming open world mobs. We do our dailies. We get our rewards, our monthly rewards. If you've uh, activated your premium at the end of the month, you can get double the monthly rewards. Selling those laborers every 10 days, farming your one plot of land until it's two plots and then three plots. Grow and sell the plants, sell excess seeds from focus watering, which you could start, you know, using your focus on something else. I don't recommend it, but um, uh, I think that watering your plants is the fastest, most laziest way to do this, okay? So, 10 million in three days, that's how much silver you can make on your first three days of premium, but in this case, you would make 100 million in your first 30 days of premium if you played eight hours a day. But you can make more now because you have farms and laborers going, okay? So here's the results, okay? The real actual results of uh, of doing this, all right? So you played 120 hours for that 30 days, which unfortunately was only four hours a day. You, maybe you had school or you had work or you just got sick or you got you played something else. So you only ended up making 50 million silver for that month, sadly. You didn't, you didn't reach the 100 million goal. Unfortunately, it happens. All your focus was spent growing wheat, okay? So you got 115 bonus silver per day for 30 days. That's 3.45 million extra silver for owning farmland, okay? And then you were too busy in real life to fame up an alternative set, unfortunately. But you did spend 10 million of your silver on combat fame credits because once you have max spec... Every fame you gain goes to combat fame credits, which you can spend on anything you want, but that costs silver. You, you are smart enough not to wear a satchel for your first 30 days. So you've lost 10 million silver there. It's unfortunate. It happens. You got lazy, okay? It's fine. You, but you still were able to afford three premiums for the next month, which cost you 29 million silver. In the end, your results was that you made 14.45 million silver left over which you can spend on gear, you could spend it on more fame credits if you want. It's really up to you, but that is a realistic first 33 days uh, goal. You're sitting at 14.45 million silver, you got three farms now, three alt characters, all generating focus, all watering wheat, all doing farmland stuff. Maybe they're doing other things now with their focus too. Uh, so it's, you know, you can actually afford, uh, according to this, you could have four alts if you wanted, but you just decided on three because you, you didn't want to make a second account, you didn't want to make a secondary email, and, and that's, you know, the realistic thing, side of things. And finally, we're going to skip ahead for a while, and here is my current goals for the month, all right? Uh, so, what are my goals? Well, my first goal was using my crafting alt to mega profit. I was also going to farm up enough combat fame credits to afford six max specs. All right, let's just look at my progress so far on that, okay? Because I'm on my character. I'm at 74.5 million combat fame credits, okay? I think I started the month with 30 million. Um, however, I did kind of fudge it up. Uh, I did a few things wrong here. Um, uh, one thing is I made a video on maxing out spite gauntlets instantly using my, my learning points, which I forgot um, my goals for the month, so I kind of screwed that up. Spent way too many learning points on that. I uh, also spent combat fame credits on the spite gauntlets, so I had to reform all of that. That's 17 million. For those that don't know, 1 to 100 spec is, yeah, it's about 17 million. Like, here's 3 to 100, 16.847 million co combat fame credits. I can farm about... 3 to 6 million combat fame credits an hour, something like that. It really depends on if I have the tier 5 zones on myself or not. Um, but the thing is, it's super ex insanely expensive uh, because I use the satchel and I'm converting all of my combat fame to, to fame credits. Uh, next was max comfrey cultivation, so let me show you what that's going to look like, okay? I'm on my farm right now, I've got comfrey, they're ready to harvest. You can see I just leveled up to 95 picking those up, so I've got 5 more levels to go. Now, just doing one farm plot, and I actually messed up. I'm supposed to eat the cake, the anniversary cake, so that I receive 15% more fame from doing that activity because it increases the fame for all activities. So I kind of, I've already kind of fudged that up. I'm going to go ahead and replant and rewater these just real quick because I'm a little behind today on my farming duties. But you get the point, right? So I have 15 days of premium, and if one farm plot gave me 2%, technically 3% because it was at 99 before filming, so 3%, I have, uh, I'm doing 5 plus 4 plus 4 farm plots. I should be able to hit it in that 15 days, and if I don't, I'll have an excess of seeds. 
uh, even if my pre mom runs out, I can still gain fame from, you know, picking up the crops. So I may be picking up the crops at a slight profit loss, which I don't mind, because I have 7 billion silver in stuff that I can liquidate. So it's not a big deal to me. I'm going to be able to max out my comfrey cultivation. Um, and you can see I've already got burdock cultivator maxed out. Um, so after that, I'll have a new goal. Maybe I'll max out agaric or, or maybe teasel or maybe I'll do like potatoes. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Okay. But right now, uh, we're working on maxing that comfrey cultivation. Get Myrmidon rank for Bridgewatch. So for those that don't know, that's my faction warfare rank. You can see here that I've already achieved Myrmidon rank. Uh, you can see that I, even this month, I've, I'm almost actually to Windwalker if I continue on. Like, I can expect another little chunk here um, in my 15 days of premium. So, I hit that very early. That was a very easy goal. A little too easy. I don't even know why I wrote it down. And then finally, get to tier 8 skinning, okay? So, tier 8 skinning, where am I at on that, okay? I believe I'm only 5% in. So, if we go down to skinning, you can see, yeah, I'm like 5% in. I'm going to need 409 learning points when I get to that 20%. So there's two ways to achieve this. If I play one hour a day with the fame cake, that's going to give me 5% towards the goal of 20%, right? Uh, I'm at 193 learning points. You get 30 per day. Uh, so I have 15 days left. So that would be 450, right? Um, I believe. I think my math might be a little wrong on that, but you get the point. 10 days of the 300 learning points. I have 193. I'm going to have plenty of learning points left over to learn tier 8 skinning, so that's going to be completed this month, absolutely, without reason. However, if I didn't want to skin for one hour a day, I could spend 27 million silver on the tomes. For those that don't know, it, when you skin, you can drop these little tomes drop here, and they give you uh, gathering fame, right? So doing the math, the tier 4 fame books are better, they give a thousand. It would be 27 million silver to just max it out and not waste one hour a, a day, but I would rather not, okay? Uh, so that's my goals, and here's how, do I, how I'm going to achieve them, okay? So for my crafting mega ult, I need to work every town twice a day. That means I log in, I do buy orders, I do sell orders to try to get the best deals, and then I craft on each city in every city twice a day, so I'm working uh, six markets twice a day. All right, then I need to farm open world, static, tier 4, tier 5 mobs, um, and I get a bonus, you know, fame for doing it during anniversary week. Also, if I do it for activities like right now, it is open world mob farming, 20% additional. So during the daytime, I'll do open world mobs. During the nighttime, when the game is slower and there's less people on, I'll do the static mobs because that's the most efficient way to faction farm or uh, uh, fame farm. My bad. Okay. But you also faction farm too while you do it. It's a double edged sword. Uh, and then I'm going to focus water three alts worth of islands every day, which I'm doing like right now on my screen, as you can see. Uh, I'm doing everything faction flagged, so I, I've just got my bridge watch flag up the whole time. And then finally, I'm just going to skin mobs and uh, use my learning points to achieve the tier 8 skinning, which we, I just talked about. So here's the results so far this month, 15 days in, okay? Some guy used a packet sniffer to find out what auctions my alt crafter was doing, and then he bullied me out of the market. So I only made 40 million silver instead of the usual 100 million. So I, I'm technically at a 60 million silver loss, though it didn't cost, like, I, I still profited 40 million silver. However, this messes up my second goal, which is f combat fame credit farming, okay? Because to farm 102 million fame credits is going to cost, you know, almost 100 million silver. Which, if I only made 40 million from my crafter, I've got to make up for that. So, uh, I, have to, I had to sell investments this month, okay? I had, a, I had a bunch of siphon energy that I bought when it was 2,000 silver over a year ago, or maybe two years ago. Uh, which now sells for 12,000 silver. So, 2,000 silver bought, sold for 12,000. Then I had four skins that I'm selling, um, which I think I only put three on the screen. But um, the four skins, I bought at three million each over a year ago, and now they're worth 19 million silver. So I had to sell those, okay, uh, in order to make up for this guy, this this person that uses a third-party program and looked at my auctions, okay? Um, now, I was able to... I'm going to be able to max out the Comfrey Cultivator, and if, if I don't for some reason, because sometimes... I get busy and I don't harvest my plants. I've done this a few times already this month. I'm a little behind. I'm even behind today. Like right now, my, my focus is up to 9.6k, 9, 9 uh, which um, I know I just watered this this crop, but I'm a little behind on it, okay? Uh, <laughs> luckily, crops only they grow in 22 hours, so you can eventually get back on track, get back on your sleep schedule, whatever it may be. Um, 
I'll still be able to do it even when premium runs out. That's not a big deal to me. That's pretty easy. I have 100 islands I could technically leverage right now and do it today. I could, I could have it done by tomorrow if I wanted, but I would be at a huge monetary loss. Anyway, uh, and then, of course, getting Myrmidon rank, I've already completed that. I actually completed it pretty early because of the amount of f fame points that you farm from open world mobs and static mobs was way higher than I estimated. So, I'm done early on that goal. Way early. I don't have to do it for 15 more days. I'm doing it anyway for profit. And then skinning for one hour a day during fame week is a 5% increase per hour. You only need 20%. I'm just going to get it to 20% and then not skin anymore until my learning points are above 400. In which case, I will have tier 8 skinny unlocked for this character. And that is my goals. That's how the goals that you should set for Albion Online. Uh, let me know in the comments what kind of goals do you want to set? What kind of goals do you have for this game? Uh, I've given you an outline of what I would do if I was you, and what I did whenever I was a newbie, and uh, maybe your goals are something more extreme, like you want to be the most badass PvPer the game has ever seen, uh, you know, you want to one-up e -court or something, so you, you, you want to fame up swords, I, I don't know what it is that you want to do. He's gone missing, hasn't he? He hasn't uploaded in a while. What is, is he okay? Does anyone know if he's okay? I'm worried. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, with that said, I read every comment. If you have any questions, let me know. I, I may not respond to every comment, but I do read all of them, assuming they don't have bad words or links in them. So don't try to link something. YouTube automatically censors those. I can't even see them on my channel, okay? It's a monetization thing, all right? Some channels that don't have certain monetizations, you can say whatever you want, but on mine, unfortunately, due to... The, the way it's monetized, it will auto-censor so many things. Um, so make sure to skirt around that uh, with, you know, creative language, I guess. With that said, I make videos every day on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. If you want to financially support me, click the Thanks button down below. That'll allow you to do a one-time monetary donation, which will show up in the comment section with how much you donated. It's a huge flex if you want to flex on your fellow commenters, and... I know some of you watch Twitch TV. I'm not saying I don't stream on Twitch. I stream on YouTube. But uh, if you're familiar with the system they have where you pay five bucks and you can subscribe to someone's channel, well, here on YouTube, you can become what's called a channel member and it's way better, okay? You pay five bucks a month, you become an official Swole Benji channel member, and this will give you access to private, more personal videos on the channel. If you check the pinned comment right now, just scroll down this video, check the pinned comment, and you will see. Uh, a members only playlist if one of those videos interests you feel free to become a channel member uh, one of those one useful video that I've made recently on there is how to be a youtuber that is how what programs I use to film edit um, the settings that I use to film and edit and also how to do your tags titles thumbnails which is very important and how to maximize your search engine optimization so that your videos appear above everyone else's which is a huge complaint that other youtubers have against me on the albion space all right well that's I, it's 40 minutes long it's i basically made that video in case i get hit in the back of the head and forget who i am so with that said guys Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure, again, that you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video, and take care, lads.